okay. Kaluruma, the first, yeah, the first one. <laughs> Kaluruma. Okay, so this is really the alloy Kaluruma. <laughs> they just got one guy to do all like the like porn stuff. Yeah, yeah. He also says thank you for saving the village. Really? That was like he said like six words. But tell him that we still have a ways to go before stigma can be prevented. My men and I will escort you there, but it's a dangerous area. We should avoid staying there too long. There's no reason to worry. We have Pepita with us, remember? Besides, it's pretty important. Some bad's gonna have a computer. Uh, yeah, she's gonna have freaking oh. stigma. Or she's gonna have that freaking, like, whatever whatever parasite that uh, Valerie's ex boyfriend discovered that was inside a dog. Yeah, his name is Denny. It's yeah, Denny. By one of the mine workers. What? A towel uh, used? This will keep us on the right track. Oh, yeah, we gave the scent to Pepita. Uh, mine. <laughs> All mine. Ooh. What is it, Pepita? Is something out there? Let her be. She's probably just barking a shadow, but I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed. I wasn't expecting this mine to look so ordinary. According to Robert, I thought there would be like zombies or some shit. <laughs> I brought this gun for nothing. <laughs> he also told me that its formation has something to do with bionic alloy. Let's bring a sample back with us, even though we already have some of the imported metal. Valerie, do you think that the stigma here occurred naturally? This mm. is a unique environment, although the ore's been mined here in the past. Regardless, stigma is a bizarre organism. My guess is that it was intentionally introduced to the area. But for what reason? Well... But for why? Remember mm. what that bastard Kidman said? Stigma would be the ultimate weapon there. What if this place was targeted? The mine? Yeah, considering the amount of profit it generates, it wouldn't be surprising if they showed up here. Besides, this is the perfect place to test stigma. You're suggesting that Kidman's involved somehow? You recognize the name. Pita? Oh shit, was that- Oh no! Oh, Did someone shoot it? Return, Return fire! All right, so now for right, the shooter. Just, yeah. Face and drink. Woo. Beef up the industry, the medical laser. Tried to protect us. Oh uh, no! No, Papita, stay back. Isn't there anything you can do for her, Doctor? She'll go into shock and die at this rate. We have no choice. Well, we're not vets, but we got to give it a shot. Oh, Pita, see it. Yeah, we'll operate yeah. on Papita. Oh, oh my dog. god, he is dying. Doberman oh no. suffering from gunshot wound. Alright, resuscitation if necessary. We're gonna make out with the dog? Yeah. <laughs> Multiple pellets have struck her abdomen. We've seen this before. It's a shotgun wound. Looks like she was shot from a distance, though. None of the pellets went all the way through. So they must be oh, snap. Yeah, Our but it's a dog. We don't know what we don't know what dog pellets. innards look like. <laughs> Have either of you operated on a dog before? The ex-boyfriend. We watch. Right. But yeah. it can't be all that different. Let's remove his They're like pellets flashback. Suture the, <laughs> the wounds. Got it. I'll do my best. Ring up your ex-boyfriend on satellite phone. <laughs> How much that would cost? We should send him like like pictures. He's like, okay, what do we do? <laughs> FaceTime him. Oh, oh no! Oh no, he's She's dying. Get out the defibrillator, but yeah. it's designed for humans. Uh, We've got no choice. Just lower the voltage. Okay. Where do we even you put it? Just, I've lowered the voltage. Wait, what oh, the it's so heck? different. You have to lower the voltage. Oh. Jesus. Oh. Oh. <laughs> got it. But there's hemorrhaging. We need to deal with that immediate right, or she'll bleed to death. Alright. We'll need to take care of keep an eye on the electrocardiogram too. She may go into Oh, I didn't know I wouldn't sign up for this. Oh, we can oh she doesn't have I thought her freaking like health cap was at no. like ten. Please extract it before the wound hammers. Wait, don't do anything oh, yet. Yeah. Sorry. Don't touch that. She's flatlining. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Please oh. use the defibrillator. Yeah. Oh god. Oh. Shit. All right, the pulse is back. All right, let's continue the procedure. Getting that juice Crap. in her. Crap. Come on, girl. Stay with us, Pepita. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! 
Please get started on the next. Okay, there you go. Please drain the blood that's collecting. Now we need to treat the wound. Oops, it's a laser. <laughs> laser. Oh, that you can. Oh, okay, 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 bad. okay, okay. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, oh, I just back down. Take turn. All right. Doctor, something's wrong. Keep looking. God, for us. Oh shit! Right. Stop, stop. All right. Oh. <laughs> He's uh, eight to seven. Yeah, but I keep forgetting that the juice right, counts, too. Nice. That's actually better. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I'm saying bad. I'm doing the wrong. wrong. Yeah. Oh god, it's here, hemorrhaging. Okay. Pepita! <laughs> oh no! Bad tutoring in Pepita. Oh no! Alright. Oh, the last of it. You know, Pepita, you really are the last of us. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> turn. Boom, baby. We have a pulse. Looks like we bought ourselves a little more time. Let's Stay with us, Pepita! Rest to the pro. Good job. I don't think we could have done anything more. You're gonna be all right, Pepita. I wonder if she has any idea at all what we're <laughs> saying. I'm sure she knows we mean well. Yeah, maybe so. Aww. You gotta speak in baby talk. They all understand that. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be okay, Pepita. Aww. You're gonna be okay. Don't we took all the shotgun runs out of your abdomen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like he's got sick bandages. Like he's a Sonic oh, redesign. God, okay. <laughs> and he has, he has, he has like a scars. six chain necklace too. Office. What seems to be the problem? What? Regroup immediately, doctors. We have a situation. We have to get back to camp immediately. Wait, so who are they even fighting? Just like on? rebels? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Oh, Garilla. Please tell us we get to use that laser on people. What? Yeah, the heat of battle! Use the gun to her. Oh my god. You are the true soldiers of this country. CLF. The federal army no longer upholds truth and justice. I don't think your forehead is meant to wrinkle like that, bro. He's really angry. Yeah. His logo kind of looks like a middle finger. <laughs> yeah. Rampant spread of bribery and corruption throughout the government cannot be tolerated. They sell our natural resources for their own personal gain. There is no time to waste. The good people of this country. Oh, well, he's got a good point. <laughs> the revolution shall arise from here. One a day of age, we shall rebuild Kularumba with our own hand. Well, we're just here mm. to see your people, so... Yeah, uh, man. Hey, there's sick people on both sides, you know? We're not here to take political sides. I'm sorry, but your visit must be cut short, doctors. This area has become a danger zone. The guerrillas have taken... A highway to a danger zone. <laughs> the government is launching a campaign to win it back. There's a military base nearby? Its existence has been kept confidential for strategic reasons, but according to our intelligence, Major General Ramirez has double-crossed us. Unbelievable! Our Whoa. unit has been asked to join the mission the president oh. has ordered. Sounds like a war's about to erupt. What are we supposed to do? Allow me to explain. Arm yourselves! <laughs> join the conflict! We will be launching an assault on Juanadeo base momentarily. I would be most grateful if you could tend to any soldiers who are what? injured. In Dude, we're not, this is not we a political so force, man. We didn't come here to get involved in military operations. However, if we don't intervene, the guerrillas will attack the villagers. The villagers. How can you recognize the threat of stigma and simply ignore the threat of the guerrillas? I represent the citizens of this country. If you continue to defy their will, I will have no choice but to imprison you under... Yo, hey. he's a freaking dictator, bro. 
Mr. President, you can't be serious. These three came here with the best intention. All right, we'll do as you ask. Dr. Vaughn, <laughs> are you sure, Marcus? But we'll only do it on the following condition. First, you agree to use the profits earned by the mine to help stigma patients. Can't, that oh my god. Aiding the villagers. If you truly represent the will of the people, then that shouldn't be a problem. Secondly, Try to diplomatically strong arm the president of a foreign country? <laughs> to us. We're not taking sides. Very well. I accept your conditions. We're heading to Wanadeo. Wait, so he said that they're gonna have to transport both enemy, yeah. like either enemy and ally. Yeah, what do they have bombs? Yeah, they're gonna freaking like, they have to dedicate their resources to get all the combatants. But we're sustaining casualties. Damn, yo, this is intense. Take the injured to the visiting doctor. What's the status of the enemy? We estimate that they are few in number, sir. However, we have received. Like you're gonna be choosing sides just by geography. Apparently, they can't get to the guys that they're shooting at. Them with <laughs> Who would do such a thing? Arms dealers. Oh. Uh, why is the president just hanging out here? Well, <laughs> at least they're not journalists. Let's proceed. Uh, <laughs> oh. This really is a war. It's detestable. But I'm afraid it's a reality of the world we live in. Doctor, the first aid tent is filling up with injured men. Looks like the nightmare is only beginning. Come on, let's do it. Alright, you ready can. to do like 30 surgeries back <laughs> oh, to back? Geez.